after you, mama. <laughs> you like the so track hawk? Oh, you're welcome, what's mama. The thing? What is that? We gotta like eat. Uh, that's a whole bunch of like safety like stuff. So like lane assist and all sorts of others oh, I stuff. I don't know all the analytics, but the camera. Yeah, it do look like one though, don't yeah. it? I wish they would have put a front parking camera though. I gotta take mine off. And bring my mama Fiat. Today. You said what, ma? I'm taking my off. Putting them black and pink. Oh, you painting the lights blake holder thing pink? I'm keeping my furry off. You're right about the eyelashes though, my dude. Kind of make it pop. It does. Yeah, mama. All <laughs> Looks good though. You got the mats and everything now. <laughs> yeah. With the steering wheel cover. Oh, you went crazy with it, huh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> got all that stuff out of there quick. Oh, I love you, mama. Love you too, babe. Love you. Love you too. I didn't want to overdo it. I couldn't got the seat cover. Oh, it's okay, mama. Too You're much. coordinating. Coordinate. Thanks, babe. You're welcome, mama. Love you. Love you. Mama Fia look good. I gotta give her a ride sometime in the track hawk, man. In the hell hawk, baby. Alright, man. Start of the video today. What we doing today? Today is just to let y'all know this video is done today. What's today's date? I'm gonna let y'all know exactly right now. Today is January 25th. So right now, I waited this whole time to not get gas and all that good stuff because I want to give y'all every last video I can probably possibly give y'all with the hell hawk man you know for those who ain't who new to my channel ain't been watching all the videos i've done so far with the track hawk that's my nickname that i gave my track hawk which is called the hell hawk man but um right now like i said i want to give y'all every video that i could possibly imagine for the people whose dream car this may be and all that good stuff you're looking to get one you want to know all the little extra stuff about it you know what i mean so and gas is one of those things you know people think about those kind of things even the rich people so um you know some you know some don't some do but i do you know i ain't rich but you know what i mean i'm definitely um going to give y'all the video where i'm letting y'all know how much it costs to go from empty to full and all that good stuff man so right now we are headed to the gas station my gas light ain't came on yet just just yet but um maybe it will by the time i get to the gas station but either way it goes if it does i'll let y'all know on the way there man so just like that i'll see you when we get there bang go on. all right y'all we are pulling up to the gas station right now but the gas light still has not come on this is the only time in my life I think I've been waiting for the gas light to come on. Most of the time when the gas light come on, I, 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 I want to refrain from the gas light coming on. But this time, since I'm making this video, gas light still ain't came on. I've been waiting for it to come on. So, But anyway, it's about as close as it's going to get until the gas light come on. I don't know how the gas light ain't came on yet because you got to understand 707 horsepower, all that good stuff in the track hawk. Ain't no way that gas light shouldn't have been came on. Who wants to wait till that thing get in the red? You know what I mean? Nobody want to wait till that thing get in the red, man. But anyway, it goes. We pulling up in the gas station right now. Yeah, we're about to get gas, man. From empty, or well, as close as empty as possible, and that I'm comfortable with, uh, to full, man. All right, let's put that joint in park. Let's hit that red button, and let's go. Boom. Let's hit that gas. Okay, that button. Boom. You know, I got the little motorized door that just pop open like so. You know, I got to get that 93. It's 2.99 a gallon right now. All right, so this pump is acting real dumb right now. So it's saying it's gonna tell me I got the wrong zip code for my own car, man. So I got to go in here and just guess how much it's gonna be. I'm just gonna overpay, and then whatever it takes is what it takes. I always see this guy every time I come up in this gas station, man. Let's say what's up to YouTube, man. What's up? <laughs> let's just go. I don't think it would take. Fuck it. Let's put 75 and whatever it is, is just go back on the car. It will. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's just put 75. Let's just see what that takes. You later yep so let's see 75 if it take that whole 75 that'd be crazy i definitely don't think it'll do that but we're gonna see ain't we it's a jeep all right here we go 2.99 a gallon like i said the joint in there boom here we go it is pumping currently going the numbers jump like the speedometer like i said in my hellcat uh video when i got when i tested the gas in my hellcat i uh said i don't know which one to jump faster the numbers while filling up with the gas like this or the speedometer when I hit that pedal to the floor. All right, now while we waiting for, you know, this joint to fill up for this, for the Hellhawk beast to fill up, you know, I got, um, I just wanted to let, take the time to let y'all know, man, that I started a podcast with my guy, Mr. Underscore Organic with a K. The description, well, you see it popping up on the screen already, but um, the description is going to be, I said the description, the link to my podcast is going to be in the description of this video below. You know what I mean? So we're about to be talking about all the trending news topics, everything from basketball to CNN news to whatever else is just happening in life. Trending news topics, all right, that y'all know about, that the whole world going to know about, and it's trending. We're going to talk about those things on my podcast, and we're going to be we're going to have special guests. We're going to have some, you know, some of our friends come on, you know, big legendary people, you know, all that good stuff, man, you know, legendary 
Rocks with legendary, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and then for the people who ain't legendary, we trying to make them legendary. You know what I mean? The link is in the description. Make sure you subscribe. And when we feel like the following's got big enough, we're going to throw out our first live stream. And then after that, it's going to be every single day. All right? We're going to put up uh, some on our podcast every single day, like I told y'all. The podcast is called Top of the Moot. The link is in the description. Go click that link. Hit that red subscribe button. Bam. And stay tuned in, man. Because we better, like I told you, we better have a lot of legendary stuff, man. I think the pump is done now. Hold on one second. Look at that red interior. Shoosh. Okay, where we at? We're gonna stop at 6218. Let's see. Can we get a little bit more in there? A little bit more drippage? Let's see. Uh, how far can it go? How up? It stopped again. Can we get to 75? Can we can we do it? 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 Can we oh, there we go, it's done. 6275, and that's pushing it. So let's go. Alright, so I actually ended up using cash. So I'm gonna go get my change right now. And my quarter, I need that quarter too. Every every quarter, every penny count, every dollar count, every subscriber count, man. Appreciate y'all, G-Squad. Here we go. My man. All right, my man, you have yourself a good day, 12. Okay, I'll make it, I was, oh, yeah, yeah. drop the quarter. I just, yeah, I'll, I'll make it show my quarter was in there now. Right, no, I'm saying, my man. All See right, you man. next time, man. You take care. All right, for sure, you too, man. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta get my receipt, man. You know, it's a tax write-off, you know? It's my business, it's the YouTube, so I gotta get them receipts, man, to give it to my accountant. I forgot the receipt, man. My oh, man, appreciate that. Gotta have that. That's a tax write off, brother. There you go. I'm gonna need that. 6275, there we go. My man, should ask for the receipt when I did it, but all good. my man, appreciate you. See you later, you too, man. All right, man, so there y'all go. 6275, 20 gallon tank. Almost 21 gallons, almost. You know what I mean? So, not bad, right? All right, man, so there y'all go. 6275, that's what it costs to fill up the hair hawk, man. Not bad, right? Almost 21 gallon tank, 20 gallon, whatever you wanna round it up to or say, you know? Not bad, six two seven five. It usually costs about, you know, for about two ninety nine or three dollars a gallon. It's about forty five dollars or something like that. You know what I'm saying to fill up my Hellcat. So you know you gotta understand, G bigger weighs more. You know, yeah. Even oh, let me tell y'all this. So I'm gonna start. Oh, let me start it. Yeah, <laughs> supercharged that popped up, man. If you haven't checked out the car review video, go check that out. Y'all can see it there. But let me show y'all this real quick. All right. So as you can see, we're on full. Let's go through the little tachometer or whatever you want to call that thing. And uh, let me tell y'all the exact, oh, that's cold, how it got like the track hog thing right there, right? Let me show y'all on this side. So when you want to go to like the zero to 60 timers, zero to hundreds and all that stuff, reaction times, it got a little hell hawk, you know, track hog, that's what they call it. But uh, mine's is the hell hawk. So you got a little hell hawk symbol right there, you know, to go through and uh, get to all that good stuff. But I'm gonna go to the gas and show y'all right here. So on this full tank, it says I get 256 miles to the full tank and i've been averaging about 10.1 miles per gallon which ain't bad though to be honest you know what i mean it, now don't get me wrong i haven't actually let me put the camera back up here but like i wanted to tell y'all um, when i was showing y'all the miles per the gallon and everything that i'm getting right that actually it says 9.3 miles once i go to the other where it says this trip or whatever it says 9.3 miles per gallon on there so uh let me just show y'all so y'all don't think i'm lying so was i lying i don't know if it's the 10.1 miles per the gallon or am i getting the 9.3 miles per gallon but like i said so whether it's the 10 miles into the gallon i've been getting or the nine miles to the gallon i've been getting it's still like eh, you know what i mean like I, now don't don't get me wrong when i made my hellcat video i caught a lot of flack for my hellcat saying that you know because i thought it was terrible on gas you know what i mean and i still do i still stick by that you know what i mean i mean what i say and i say what i mean but um a lot of people got to miss screw that when i said that about my Hellcat. They're like, oh, how do you expect to get more than that? You're 707 horsepower. Oh, if you can't afford the gas, you can't afford the car, you know, all that dumb shit from all them dumb ass trolls, you know what I mean? Um, but to me, I, I already knew what I was getting into when I bought my Hellcat, you know what I mean? Like I knew the gas. I, I'm a person that before I get something, I research everything, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to get stuck in no loop or be cut off guard by anything. Ain't nothing worse than being cut off guard with something. Definitely when it cut up, being cut off guard with something costs you a lot of money. So I already knew what it was when I got my um, Hellcat, you know what I mean? But I still want to tell people, like, I went from a Honda to a Hellcat, you know what I mean? I ain't get no, I didn't get the GT, then work my way to the Scat Pack, then go to SRT, and then get the Hellcat. So I had, I never had a muscle car in my life. I never went through none of this. I researched all of it, but it's different when you live with it, all right? So you got to have the money to back that up. Now, I make some good money. Now, for all those trolls who out there talking shit, all my, all my paid uh, stubs with YouTube are all public information. It tells you how much I make every month on those social media outlets. I ain't gonna let y'all know the name, but if y'all wanna do the research, it ain't hard to find, you know what I mean? So go check it out and you'll see that, you know, I can easily afford this payment, I can easily afford the gas, I can easily afford the house we about to get. All the stuff that I do 
it's easily affordable, you know what I mean? Thanks to y'all, don't get me wrong, I ain't trying to shit on nobody, it's all thanks to y'all though, I tell y'all this all the time, without my subscribers, without my people tuning into these videos, you know what I mean, watching the ads, buying the merch, without y'all, I wouldn't be who I am, point blank period, and I mean that 1000%, alright? So, let's get that understood. Now, back to what I was talking about though, it's like, you gotta know what you get into when you get these kind of cars, you know what I mean? Like, you, it's different when you research or something versus living with it. Big time different, you know what I mean? That's like seeing a celebrity uh, girl on TV, you've been wanting to smash them drawers for a long time, you know, all you're thinking about is her exterior look, and you're thinking about, you know, everything with her, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, from like the outside in and not the inside out. But then, let's say you get an opportunity, you talk to that girl, and the next thing you know, she totally damn different, and you realize this ain't something you've been feeling. Once you are actually with that person, and then you see, like, everything ain't all as cracked up to be as you did when you were sitting at home watching this person on TV or doing this and doing that. Everybody's not like me. Like me, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I give y'all everything unfiltered and raw. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna filter none. I'm not gonna be, oh, hello guys. And then behind the scenes, I'm like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Like I am who I am on camera and I am who I am off camera. So with that being said, I tell people the real. Like when I got my Hellcat, it was like, man, this thing is terrible on gas. Living with it, you realize you live at the gas station all the time. Definitely if you drive like me. If you drive fast and you like having fun and you like living your life, Oh, you're going to be at the gas station a lot in the Hellcat. And a lot in this now, too. That's what the point I'm getting to. This right here, even if it's 9, 10 miles to the gallon, you know what I mean? If you acting crazy, you know what I mean? And driving, having fun and living life, you know, the reason why I think you should buy shit like this, then you're going to be at the gas station. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I say my Hellcat was bad at gas, that wasn't no knock at it. You know what I'm saying? It was just letting y'all know. Be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Because I was. You know what I mean? But I'm still going to give keep it real people i'm not gonna just say it because a lot of people won't like i'm not gonna not say it because i know a lot of people won't like it i don't give a fuck if people you know like it don't like it. if it got something to do with changing up my character or changing up who i am so the hellcat is bad on gas but i love that fucking car and i'm gonna keep it forever all right now this trackhawk 10 9 10 or 9 miles to the gallon don't get me wrong it's great for this car it's over 5,000 pounds 707 horsepower, 640 pound feet torque, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? So you gotta understand what you're getting into, you know what I mean? Which I fully do understand, like I told you, I don't get done without research, doing all my research into it and making sure that I'm ready for all the little hoops and obstacles I might have to jump through by owning a car or anything, a house, anything, you know what I mean? So this car is actually good on gas for what it is, but nonetheless, 10, 9 miles to the gallon, you still gonna live at the gas station. So you've got to know that if you're thinking about getting this car. So the people who are watching this video are watching it for either really one or two reasons, or actually really three reasons. Either one, you really just fuck with me and you just watch all my videos, you know what I mean? Because you're a real live G Squad supporter, in which I really appreciate. Or either two, you're just a super hater, you know what I mean? And you just want to tune into the video, just tell me how much you hate me, how much you think I'm dumb, how much you think I'm in dead, how much you think all this. Kick rocks, champ, you know what I'm saying? Or either three, you're a person, you just found out about me, or maybe you knew about me already, but this, this track hog video pulled you into my channel and you're wondering, like, this may be your dream SUV, and you may be trying to get that done. So if that is the case, this video is all for all three of y'all, really. But for the person, it would've helped me out a lot before I got my Hellcat, uh, if somebody would've made a video just talking about the little things like that. You know, how much does it cost? If the gas is $3 a gallon, how many tanks does it hold? You know, how many gallons of uh, gas does it hold in the tank? You know, all those different kind of variables, you know what I mean? Like, it's small, but at the same time, it's major, you know what I mean? So, um, if somebody would've made that, it would've been very helpful for me. So, what I try to do with this Trackhawk video, my Hellhawk, is I try to, for the people who this dream SUV it may be, I want to make that video and let y'all know so in case it may help y'all, you know what I mean? So it may help you better prepare for what you're going to buy in the future because you will get it if you put your mind to it and you're working hard and you're consistently busting your ass every single day to get it, you will get it, champ. You know what I'm saying? So don't get unmotivated. Don't get discouraged. You will get it even if it's a Hellcat or whatever else your dream car may be. You know what I mean? Because if you're watching my videos, I know you love cars. So if you're watching off that strength, then know that you can do it. If I did it, anybody can do it. And I tell you that all the time and I stand by it firmly. Long story short, you know what I mean? If you got this car and you you get you a track hog or you get a Hellcat, you know what I mean? Like in my Hellcat, usually if I'm going crazy and I'm driving, you know, fast and having fun and living life, like I said, then I'm gonna probably get about 10, 11 miles to the gallon. And this one, it said, and me been going calm, it's the middle of winter. I ain't went fast in this car yet. I'm trying, I'm still at 229 miles now. So I'm trying to um, get it above 500 before I even try to even go a little bit fast. And I don't plan on going super crazy with this or nothing like that. So um, like I said, man, if I was to do that though, like how I do in my Hellcat and it was the summertime and all that good stuff, hypothetically, then I probably would get about, I would say it'd be easy to get eight 
to seven miles, maybe seven to eight miles to the gallon if you're going real fast and you're really treating this car like it was built to be treated, you know what I mean? Then um, I'll say at least it'll go down to at least eight miles a gallon, seven, eight miles a gallon. Now, y'all do y'all assumptions from there. Like I told you, you're going to live at the gas station, but you got to know what you're getting into before you get something like this, you know what I mean? So this goes for all the people. If you want this car, like I said, do your research. Not just this on a Hellcat or anything else. Actually, I missed my turn. Let me go back this way, man. But um, do all your research, do all you do. You're doing all that work to you know build up your credit score. You're doing all your work to save up your money to get your dream car and do all that good stuff. So make sure you do your due diligence, you know what I mean? And research everything about the car too. Don't just you know focus on just obtaining the car. Focus on what's gonna take to maintain the car, have the car, you know what I'm saying? And pay gas on the car, insurance on the car, and all that good stuff. Which brings me to my next point, man. Everybody, stay tuned for the uh, videos because I'm, like I told you, I'm gonna flood the market with the Trackhawk videos. My Hellhawk, man. I'm talking about. I'm gonna let y'all know how much I pay every single month, my payment for it. My, I'm gonna let y'all know my interest rate. You know, I'm gonna let y'all know how much I pay for insurance. I'm gonna let y'all know after X amount of miles how it really is. Is it really practical? Is it all that good stuff? Everything that you may want to know with this uh, Trackhawk. I'm gonna let y'all know what it is with my Hellhawk, man. All right, so everybody stay tuned for the videos, but just like that, man, this video's over. It's done. I'll let y'all the next one, man. I'm out of here. All right, man, just getting home. I ain't, you know what? I ain't seen my Hellcat in a long time. I know I said the video's over, but I'm gonna let y'all see that Hellcat for those who may be new to the channel, ain't seen it, or might maybe just found out about me, you know, from this one video here. All right, as you can see, the Hellhawk is looking real spiffy, real clean. But you see my Hellcat's looking a little dirty. I don't know if the camera's catch, capturing all that, you know what I mean? But the, the Hellkeezy is definitely dirty. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do for y'all, man? I'm gonna start, lock that one. I'm gonna start the Hellkeezy and then start the uh, Hellhawk for y'all, man. Yeah. Let me catch that begging, cause you know that's where the, all the virus shit is. inside the garage you know this is a heated garage for those trolls out there you know what i mean but yeah you got the uh hell hawk and you got the hell keezy go to sleep baby okay now let's go ahead and start the track hawk for y'all man just cuz okay whoa look at that thing a little bit more quiet a little bit more uh you know relaxed let's hear that rumble <laughs> i'm living the dream man i'm big time blessed man i ain't gonna lie to y'all got the track hawk key Get in. You got the uh, Hell Keezy key. A little scratched up, a little wear and tear, you know, but I got a brand new one upstairs. I ain't even, you know, took out the package yet or nothing like good stuff, you know. But uh, go to sleep, baby. Shoosh. One more time, man. I just had to show y'all both of them together, man. Shh. Man, big blessings, man. Like I said, man, without y'all, there is no me. And without y'all, there is no this, you know what I'm saying? I would have had that one, but there would have been no this one, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, man. You know, y'all have a good day. Have a blessed one, man. See y'all on the next one.